What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're dealing with some 450 North beer. And no, this time, it's not a sour, guys. It's going to be a triple IPA. Actually, triple dry hopped triple IPA. Brewed with Galaxy, Citra, Enigma, and Simcoe hops. There it is. It is the Puff Puff Pass. Yeah, this is coming in at $6.99, guys, and I want to make this big disclaimer and a well-known new fact from 450 North. Their beer prices have all dropped. I know in the past, all the reviews I had done, me and Danny, we would do them over and over again, and we would just complain all the time that these beers were ridiculously overpriced. And I'm not saying that these were not high quality beers, I'm not saying that, but for $9.99, $10.99, and $11.99 per can, it was getting absolutely ridiculous. Well now guys, a lot of their sours are coming in around $6.99, and this one is a triple uh, IPA, and it's $6.99 as well. So this is 9% ABV, uh, again, at that new lower price point. Let's dive into this, guys. I actually don't have a lot of IPAs from 450 North, um, so I have a very limited knowledge on how they usually run these, but you know what? I had to get my hands on some. So here we are reviewing the brand new lower pricing 450 North, guys, and it's $6.99 one more time. I'm done about the pricing. Let's see what kind of beer is driven into this Nicely looking can here, guys. This nice looking can, and look at that beautiful hazy beer. Look at that. That is very impressive. Very hazy, very thick as I was pouring it. 9%, no slouch of a beer. Looks a little bit more golden yellow on camera, but I'd say to me it's got a little bit of an orangey mixture going on, but it's super hazy, guys. Very viscous, very thickly packed in there. It's, it's, moderate to low carbonation, a bright white head sticking on top, fairly creamy, sticking to the glasses very nicely. Very bright white actually, but that's a pretty looking beer. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous looking. Uh, that's actually a good good uh, option I can do for you guys is give you the lighting through the glass at the camera. Um, let's go to an aroma. Very bright, smoothie fruit juice kind of vibes smells so juicy like like blended up tropical fruit notes blended up stone fruit generic notes peachy apricot cantaloupe um uh nice juicy pineapple very very overripe pineapple a little bit of tart grapefruit a little bit of passion fruit guava thing in there there's a lot. I mean, it's it's kind of piney. It's it's a little bit um, hoppy and earthy. Just a dash, but very bright, very aromatic. Almost like there's like watermelon. There's like these little berry notes. There's these huge stone fruit tropical vibes in here. It smells it smells incredible, actually. Um, I don't see a can on date, but I I didn't mention that. I don't know how new this is. I believe it's fairly new, so. Couldn't tell you guys what the date is, but we're gonna dive in. It's the Puff Puff Pass. Let's see how dank this bad boy can be based on that name. Cheers. Damn. Woo. Damn. It's a thick beer, man. I mean, that's like chewing through citrus and hops. Holy crap. It's a chewy triple IPA at 9.4. I'm sorry, 9%. I had not long before this review, the Stone Enjoy By, which was 9.4%. That was so much lighter than this beer, which is lower ABV. This one is lower alcohol than the Enjoy By, but this tastes chewier. It tastes thicker, denser, um, syrupy. It tastes like, yeah, it tastes like syrupy grapefruit, like syrupy tropical notes. Um, it's got this like dank pine thing on the back end, a little bit of like guava dank. Um, but also, I think it's hard to ignore these these crazy bright citrus and stone fruit notes that are coming through. Like very very peachy, uh, peach skin, peach syrup. Um, it's just a thick boy, guys. I just gotta be honest. It's hard to even name all the fruits because there's a lot of them in here. There's a lot of hops put in here. It's very hoppy. It's a little bit um, bitter, but it's soft on the back end, and it's it's just a thick chewy triple IPA. Being this hazy too. Yeah, I guess 
dank guava pineapple um, has come into mind for some reason. Dank cantaloupe, peach, pineapple, and guava are the biggest things coming to mind. There's a little bit of that lemony um, skin and the, the lemon rind on the front. A little bit of grapefruit on the front, but it just pours into these big notes that are just coming on my head, which are cantaloupe, guava, pineapple, guys. And again, it's it's a syrupy, thick, fruity, bright mouthfeel. Uh, it's, it's got a slight bit of pine astringentness uh, matched with bitterness, but it's so smooth and creamy and chewy at the same time that you, you, almost, you almost ignore that there's dankness or bitterness on the back end because of those big, bright notes they kind of shine through the middle of this beer and it just it, it, it's hoppy it's big it's uh just a huge beer at nine percent wow it's like it's like i'm having smoothies and yogurts and it, it's got that big of a mouthfeel it's just wild um it's good man it's good 6.99 i can validate this a lot better at that price point rather than nine or 10.99. I'm a lot happier with what I got in this can, guys. I think there's a lot of quality in here. It tastes very good if you like hazies. This is kind of like a hazy hybrid, more, more so leaning towards the New England style rather than the West Coast, but it is some sort of hybrid in between. Um, and it's just, it's just a fantastic, massive 9% beer. It almost drinks bigger than that. It's smooth, but it's just so darn chewy that it, you think it could be like 10 or 11%. It's wild. Um, rating. It's a lot of talking. A lot of talking. So bright. Almost like sweet honey, too. Just sweet marmalade. It's so big, I think I'd have trouble drinking it all, but the flavor is fantastic. It's just a really awesome beer. Um, drinkability comes down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go with a 4, 2 out of 5. It's just a crazy amount of hops thrown at you. It's a lot going on, uh, and it's a lot to chew, a lot to bite off, if you want to say, guys, for a pun. A lot to, a lot to uh, bite off here. Um, but... Yeah, four two out of five. It's been the Puff Puff Pass from 450 North, guys. I love the quality. I love the new price point. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. Check you. Uh, check you. Catch you on the next one, guys. Nine percent. <laughs>